In this video, we'll balance the equation AgNO3 plus K2SO4, silver nitrate plus potassium sulfate. Let's count the atoms up. Silver, we have one of those. And then this NO3 here, this is called a polyatomic ion. It's the nitrate ion. And it appears here and then again on the other side of the equation. So we're going to count this as one item, and that will really simplify balancing. So NO3, the nitrate, we have one of those. Two potassiums. And then SO4, that's called the sulfate. It's a polyatomic ion. It appears here and here. So I'm just going to count the sulfate as one item. On the product side, two silvers, one nitrate, one potassium, and then one sulfate, one SO4. Okay, so we're ready to balance here. We have one silver, two silvers. Let's put a coefficient of two in front of the AgNO3. One times two, that'll give us two silvers. Those are balanced, but the two applies to everything. So we have the one nitrate ion times the two. That'll give us two of those. Why don't we fix the potassiums next? We have two here and one here. Let's put a two here. That might even solve the nitrates. We have one times two. That gives us two the potassiums. And then NO3s, we have one nitrate ion times the two. That'll give us two of those. And it does. This equation is balanced. So when we have a polyatomic ion on the reactant side and on the product, Count it as one item. It'll make the balancing a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for AgNO3 plus K2SO4. Thanks for watching.